Hello! Welcome to a quick tip tutorial brought to you by MS State Online. My name is Ariane Hainsey and I work on the instructional design team as the instructional resource consultant. You can reach out to our team anytime for online course design help or general Canvas questions by emailing our team at idhelp at msstate.edu. We look forward to working with you. Now, let's dive in. In this quick tip tutorial, we will be covering how to create and implement a Canvas page banner, like the one you see here, my welcome banner. To make a custom banner, we recommend creating a free account with canva.com, a separate website. Using the free version, you will be able to make a wide variety of content, including the custom banner. Once you have access to Canva, you can follow these upcoming steps to create and customize your page banner. Along the way, we will also talk about a few tips for accessibility to make sure that your banner is easy to read and accessible by screen readers. After we cover creating the page banner, I will then briefly cover how to download your creation and use it on a Canvas page within your course. Step 1. Click the Create a Design button in the top right corner of Canva. Then, on the bottom of the menu, select the leftmost button with the plus icon called Custom Size. Input the custom size as 1920 by 300 and click the purple button Create New Design. You'll then be given this blank banner, which you can add a template to, or you can create your own design using elements, your own uploads, and text. If you find a template that catches your eye, note that not all of the templates are free to use. Some of the templates are watermarked and are for Canva Premium members only. For example, this yellow template has watermarks on these photos, but not on the yellow background. So that means we can use the yellow background, but we would have to remove the watermarked photos. And to do that, you would just delete. And I'm going to hit the delete button for the rest of these on the keyboard. And that's it. Now we have a background we can use. There's also other elements that you can move or change in any way that you would like. You could even edit the color of these icons like that. Now I'm going to take us back to the templates and select a template to work with and show you an end result with that template. Okay, I want to use this ultra colorful shape filled template and I want to add some text. So this will be for the front page of my Canvas course. I would like to insert text right around here, so I am going to delete the shapes that I don't want, and I'm also going to move the shape that I want to keep right over here. Then I'm going to add some text. It automatically places it in the center of the project, and you can move it around. First, I'm going to add the text. See, I'll click away and then select it once more and move it to my empty space. And I'm going to add one more text box. All right, so I have my raw text. And from here, I can already tell that I want to make the text a little bit bigger. So I'm going to select on the entire box of text and I can click up here to enlarge the text. You can also highlight certain parts of the text to make larger or highlight all of the text and make it the same size. And I'll make it around 25. All right, once I have it where I want it, I will go on to the next one. Now here's where we're going to talk about accessibility. We want to make sure that the words can be easily seen. To do that, I'm going to add a white background behind this black text to make a nice, strong contrast. Okay. 
changing the color to white to create that nice contrast. And I'm seeing it's not exactly the way I would like it to look. I am going to move these elements. A trick to Canva is you can select an element, hold down the shift button, and select another element. I could then group them together so they will move together on my banner. All right. Now I would like to ungroup them. Right. And then finally I need another box for my second block of text. Finally, you can center your elements. The last thing I think I would like to do is just for fun, change the color of this shape here to match the green on the other side. And to add just one more green element. There. I think that adds a fun piece of symmetry. One more note on accessibility is with the font of the text. So if I go back here to my font, we have all of our font types. And a quick note here for this quick tip video for accessibility, you want to use a sans serif font. So now to download, click share in the top right. About halfway down, select the download button. If you happen to need a small file size, use JPG. If you want to make sure that your banner is a crisp, clear image, then stick with PNG. If you stick around for the end of this video, I will include a bonus that shows you the difference between PNG and JPG. So I'm going to download, and you can see it's telling me here that it is being downloaded and my browser has now told me that it's downloaded as well and I can click the folder to open the location. So I will go ahead into Canvas knowing that my download is on my computer and over to Pages. I want to create a home page for this class. So I'm going to title it like this. And in this rich content editor, I am going to click on the image icon to upload my image file. So I have it in my downloads folder. It's my most recent download. And you can see the preview is right here and I will click submit. For good accessibility, the next important step to follow is to select the image and click image options. From there, we want to add an alt text, especially if the banner contains information that does not exist elsewhere on the page. For this, I would like to title my banner for screen readers to say, and click Done. If your banner is purely decorative and does not contain information for the students, you can also select decorative image to bypass the alt text. And that's it. That is my banner. And from there, you can see the cursor blinking over here on the right hand side. So I can hit enter and then I can continue editing the page as usual and adding any other sort of page elements to my home page. Okay. In a separate video, we will talk about how to make this your home page. Remember, you can use a banner for any of your pages. It could be your welcome page or a unit page or a lesson page. And that's it. Thanks for watching this quick tip. Are you sticking around to see the bonus tip? If you're curious about the differences between JPEG, JPG, and PNG quality, the first image is the JPG or the JPEG, and the second image is the PNG. The difference is slight. It is a difference of clarity and crispness of the image. So the JPG has noise in the image. It has blurring around the edges of these shapes. And the PNG is a much sharper image. We have clean lines, no blurring. 
and everything looks exactly the way we designed it. I hope that was helpful. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you in the next quick tip tutorial. Thank you.